so in uh, last class uh, we have seen how to find uh, direction cosines and direction ratios yeah from the given vectors so there is a relation between the direction ratios and direction cosines that also we have seen hmm. and based on that we have solved examples hmm. how to find angle between them how to find direction cosines ratios So this was the last example, I think. Tenth one. Yes? Yeah, I think tenth one. Yeah. So here they have given a line which makes angle of 45 and 60 degree with a direction with Y and Z axis respectively. Then we have to find the angle made by the positive direction of x axis so here direction ratios we are taking and the angle between them is alpha beta and gamma okay mm -hmm. and two angles they have given with uh, y axis and z axis that means second uh, is that beta is 45 degree and with z axis means gamma is 60 degree mm -hmm. and we know the relation between them that is hmm. cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is 1. Yeah. Then we are substituting the values. Alpha we have to find out. Beta we have given as a 45 and gamma we have given as a 60. Hmm. And cos 60 is 1 half. So that hmm. value we are substituting here. And then we are getting the cos square alpha is 1 half. Uh, one uh, one fourth, one by four, mm -hmm. and then we are taking the square root of the both the sides and cos alpha we are getting plus or minus one half. Are you getting? Yeah. So these are the three angles. First angle already they have given as a forty five, then sixty and sixty. So here cos alpha we have to find what is the value of that. So we are taking alpha is equal to cos inverse of plus or minus one half. Hmm. So we are getting the value of that is 60 and 120. Okay. Hmm. So there are two possibilities. So that angle will be 45, 60, 60 or 45, 60, 120. Hmm. So in this way, we have computed the a remaining angle with x axis okay next question so here they have given a line uh, which is uh, passing through two points 6 minus 7 minus 1 and 2 minus 3 1 hmm. and from that we have to find the direction ratios and direction cosines of that angle and they have given the condition that alpha angle is acute angle. Hmm. So like last time we get uh, the two options 60 and 120, we have to choose 60 only because that angle is less than 90. Okay. Yeah. So here they have given two points. So we are assuming that is A and B. And from that we are finding the vectors like this position vectors. Hmm. A is 6i minus 7j minus k and B is 2i minus 3j plus k. Hmm. And from that we can find AB bar. AB bar is nothing but B bar minus A bar. Then we are subtracting I values of the both then J value and K value. Hmm. And we are getting AB bar is minus 4i plus 4j plus 2k. Are you getting? Yeah. Then coefficient of i, j, k is nothing but the direction ratio. So we are getting direction ratio is minus 4, 4, and 2. So from yeah. this vector, we can find. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have to find the direction cosines. Hmm. So we don't know what are the direction cosines. So what we are doing, we are multiplying these direction ratios by k. And we will assume that these will be the direction cosines. Hmm. And we know that direction cosines. 
square is nothing but one. Like last example we have seen cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is one. Mm. So here we are substituting that values. Already we know. Mm. Gamma is one. So this is minus 4k square plus 4k square plus 2k square is equal to one. Mm. So minus 4k square is 16k square plus 4k square is 16k square and 2k square is 4k square. Mm. Then we are adding all. So we are getting 32 plus 4 that is 36. 16 plus 16 plus 4 is 36. Get yeah. It? yeah. Yeah. And then we are taking 36 to other side. So we are getting 1 upon 36. And we are taking square root of the both the sides. So mm -hmm. here k value we are getting as a plus or minus 1 by 6. Mm -hmm. So k value we got. Then we are substituting that value in the equation here. Okay. Mm. So cos alpha is equal to minus 4k, uh, which is <coughs> that value we are substituting, but this is the k is less than zero. So here we are assuming that k value is minus one by six. Yeah. Yeah. And this value we are substituting in whatever the direction ratios they have given first is minus 4k second is plus 4k and sec third is 2k so here we are substituting the value of k we are neglecting plus one half because we want that value greater than zero and k's value will be less than zero so that we are taking here and substituting so mm -hmm. multiplying with k we are getting the direction cosine as 2 by 3 minus 2 by 3 and minus 1 by 3. Mm. Getting? Yeah. The next question is related to the proof. So they have asked to prove that altitudes of triangle are concurrent. So first we have to draw a triangle. So here triangle is ABC. Okay. Mm. And uh, there are lines AD, then BE and CF, mm. which are making the 90 degree with the respective sides of the angle. Yeah. So such that AD is perpendicular to BC, A is perpendicular to AC and CF is perpendicular to AB. Mm. Then... Uh, we are assuming the position vectors are A bar, B bar, C bar, D bar, E bar, and F bar. Okay. Mm. And from that, uh, we are getting the perpendicular lines. So here, AP is perpendicular to BC. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And BP is perpendicular to AC. And if these are the perpendicular value, then we can conclude that CP also perpendicular to the third line that is AB. Mm. Then uh, we can uh, equate whatever the perpendicular sides are there. For example, uh, AP is perpendicular to BC and BP is perpendicular to AC. Mm. And their value will be zero. Then AP, how we can find AP? AP will be P bar minus A bar. And BC we are finding as a C bar minus B bar. Are you getting this? Yeah, yeah. Then same for BP also. We are writing P bar minus B bar. And AC we are writing as a C bar minus A bar. That will be mm. multiplication will be zero. Then mm. we are multiplying them individually. So we are getting equation two and equation three. Mm. And now we have to uh, show that CP bar is uh, perpendicular to AB bar. So here we have mm. to do substitution. What we are doing here, we are subtracting equation two from three. Okay. Mm. 
so here when we subtract uh, equation 2 then uh, pc bar and pc bar get cancel mm. then ab bar and bc bar is there we know that if uh, uh, opposite are there suppose ba bar is there we can write it as like a minus a bar b bar mm. so same we can do here here is ab bar in the first equation and in the second there is b uh, ba bar so that we can write a b bar and minus b a bar yeah mm. yeah so from that whatever the values we can cancel and remains after subtraction is minus p a bar plus p b bar minus b c plus a c bar is equal to zero mm. Because this this will get cancelled and these fours are remain in the middle one. Yeah. Then from the first two, we can see there is P common. So we can take P common outside and other remains is B bar minus A bar. Mm. Yeah. And third and fourth, we can take common C bar and it will remain is B bar and A bar only. Mm. Then like a a linear equation quadratic equation we can take mm. ba bar in one bracket and p minus c in another bracket mm. and p minus c is nothing but our cp bar and b minus a is nothing but ab bar their multiplication is zero means they are perpendicular to each other mm. <laughs> so that's it any question here no, sir, no sir. so then this is the homework for you exercise mm. 5.3 yeah so here you have to show some vectors are perpendicular to each other same like this then you have to find the values of some variable c mm. then you have to check uh, the position vectors are parallel or perpendicular so these are the some examples that you have to solve total 14 mm. examples are there so we have seen scalar product then next we will see how to find the vector product of two vectors mm. <coughs> so what is the vector product So they have given here. If we are multiplying the two vectors in the plane together, then we get third vector, which is perpendicular to the plane. Hmm. And the product for finding the third vector is nothing but the vector product. So hmm. how to find that? So they have given that right hand thumb rule. So if there are two vectors a bar and b bar which are non zero and these vectors are not collinear then we can find the vector product of them so how to find the vector product we can write like this cross between the two vectors yeah. and here its vector product will be magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sine of theta into n cap hmm. And we know that n cap will be zero, then vector product will be magnitude of a bar into magnitude of b bar into sine of theta. Hmm. Then how to find unit vector n cap? So this is the formula. A bar into b bar upon magnitude of a bar into b bar. Hmm. So this few formulas you have to remember then you can find the vector product of any two given vectors hmm. then here you can conclude that vector product obeys the distributive law hmm. so different laws are there committed to distributive so here we can check this vector product obeys it or not hmm. so if we have given the two vectors then we can find the vector product like this by determinant also. Hmm. 
So here we have to write the I, J, K and the second row will be the direction ratios of the vectors. Mm. Then next, how to find the angle between two vectors. So this is the mm. formula. Sin theta is equal to mod of a bar, a, a bar, a bar into b bar upon mod a bar into mod b bar. Yes. So let's see a few examples based on this. So first example, here we have to find the cross product a bar into b bar and we have to verify that is both are perpendicular to each other or not. Hmm. So first question in that they have given the two vectors a bar and b bar and using the determinant formula we can find the cross product. So first row will be i, j, k and second row will be the direction ratios of the first vector a bar 1, 1, minus 1. Then B bars direction ratios 2, 4, and 6 that we are writing here. And then we are solving. So first we are taking 1 minus 1, 4, 6 into I minus 1 minus 1, 2, 6 into J plus 1, 1, 1, 1 2, 4 into K. Yeah. yeah. Then we are doing the cross multiplication and we are finding values of the I, J, K. Hmm. So here, after solving, we are getting the cross product is 10i plus minus 8j plus 2k. Hmm. Then to find it is orthogonal or not, uh, we are multiplying a bar with it. Okay. Hmm. Scalar product of a bar into b bar with a bar. And mm. same with B bar. Yeah. So this cross product we know. And again we are multiplying with A bar. And here we are multiplying with B bar. Mm. And we are checking. So here both values we are getting as a 0. Yes. Mm. So that means we can conclude that both the vectors are orthogonal to each other. Means perpendicular to each other. Yeah. Then second question. So what they have given here? They've given of um yeah, they've given um what a bar into b bar is equal to no no the second the second question from my bad error. Find all vectors of magnitude. Second question or second subpart? Sir? Second subpart. Okay, no, you said question, that's why I got confused. Mm. So they've given a, um, a bar is equal to i bar i cap plus 3 j cap minus 2 k cap. B bar is equal to minus i cap plus 5 cap. Um, 5, 5 k cap. Yeah. So then so we take the find, yeah. vector of the two. And we are writing in the determinant hmm. form. Matrix form, yeah. Yeah. And then like last example, we are solving that. We are taking i and a remaining uh, rows of that i then mm. j and a remaining elements from apart from the second uh, column like that mm. we can write and then we are just doing the cross multiplication mm. and here we are getting the cross product is 15i minus 3j plus 3k and to find the orthogonal, again, we are doing the scalar product with A bar and B bar. Mm. So just we are multiplying here I, I part, J, J part and K, K part. So this value we are getting zero. Again, multiplying with this 15 into minus one, J value is zero. So that will be zero. K will be three into five. That is 15. So it is mm. getting plus 15 and minus 15, that is zero. That means A bar and B bar are orthogonal to each other. Hmm. 
देन सेकेंड व्हाट दे हैव आस्क हियर इफ आस्क फाइंड ऑल वेक्टर्स ऑफ मैग्नीट्यूड टेन पार टेन रूट थ्री perpendicular to the plane of i cap plus 2 j cap plus k cap and minus i cap plus 3 j cap plus 4 k cap yeah so first we are finding the vector product cross product mm. of that by our matrix form mm. so here we are getting 8 minus 5 i that is 5 i then minus 4 plus 1 minus 5 j then mm. 3 plus 2 k that is 5k mm. and we are assuming it as a m bar mm. then we are finding the magnitude of a bar into b bar so here we are taking all the direction ratio square 5 square plus minus 5 square plus 5 square all in under root so that mm. we are getting as a 3 into 5 raised to power 2 so we can there are two fives are there so we can take one outside and it will be 5 u under root 3 mm. so this is the we can also assume as a magnitude of m bar mm. <laughs> then we have to find the unit vector m cap m cap is nothing but m bar into magnitude of m bar mm. so cross product already we got That is 5u i minus 5u j plus 4k, and their magnitude we got 5u under root 3. Mm. Then we are dividing to the individual part, so 5u 5u get cancel of everyone. We can take 5u common and we can cancel with the denominator. Mm. And what is the remain is i cap minus j cap plus k cap upon under root 3. Yeah. then we have to find the magnitude of 10 root 3 that is perpendicular to the a bar and b bar so what we are doing we are multiplying to the m cap hmm. to that magnitude so m cap we are getting as a i minus j plus k upon under root 3 and then we are multiplying with plus or minus Ten under root three. Hmm. So this numerators under root three and denominators under root three get cancelled. Get cut. Yeah, and we are getting plus minus ten into i cap minus j cap plus k cap. Hmm. Then third example, uh, they have given. U bar plus V bar plus W bar is equal to zero bar. Then hmm. they have told prove that U bar into V bar is equal to V bar into W bar is equal to W bar into U bar. Hmm. So first we are take writing the whatever the given data. So they have given U bar plus V bar plus W bar is equal to zero. Hmm. Then here we are multiplying the whole equation by v bar that is cross product with v bar so mm. here we are getting u bar into v bar plus v bar into v bar plus w bar into v bar is equal to 0 but we know that that vector multiplication with itself is 0 so here a v bar into v bar it will be 0 so we are getting mm. u bar into v bar plus w bar into v bar will be 0 Hmm. Then we are taking uh, W bar V bar to the other bracket, other side, right hand side. So it will be minus W bar into V bar. Hmm. And minus we can make it as plus by just interchanging their sides. Like uh, first W bar we are taking to the other side. That will be V bar into W bar. So when we exchange the their positions, it will become positive. Hmm. So, like this, we can prove for other also. Like v bar into w bar is equal to w bar into u bar. Hmm. And that's it. Then these two we can equate. 
and we are getting the proof that is u bar into v bar is equal to v bar into w bar is equal to w bar into u bar any question here no no, no sir so let's see fourth example so here they have given the two vectors a bar three vectors a bar b bar no, sir bar. I, um, u u bar into v bar plus w bar into v bar is equal to zero and then how did we get the sentence uh, the one after that uh, this is uh, w bar and uh, w bar into v bar we are taking to the okay, right yeah. side okay so then so we, we do the minus. Yeah. yeah and yeah. then we have just exchanged their positions to make it as positive Hmm. That's it. They have asked this only. Yeah, fine. Then fourth example, uh, they have given the two vectors A bar, B bar and C bar and they have asked to find A bar into B bar first and then multiply with C bar and in the second, they have asked first multiply B bar into C bar and then pre-multiply by A bar. Hmm. and they have asked us that is value will be not same so we have to verify that hmm. so first we are finding a bar into b bar with the our determinant matrix form hmm. are you getting this yeah then finding this a bar into B bar value will be minus I plus 7J plus 5K. Then again, we have to multiply. We have to find the cross product of A bar, B bar with C bar. Hmm. So this value is the first one. That is A bar into B bar. We got as a minus I plus 7J plus 5K. And C bar is I cap minus 2J cap plus 2k cap hmm. and this we can can't directly multiply like a scalar product because this there is no dot in between there is cross product we have to find so hmm. like we have to again use the matrix form hmm. and here we are writing the direction ratios of the a bar into b bar and second third row in that direction ratios of the c bar hmm. and then we are solving this so here we are getting 24 i cap plus 7 j cap minus 5 k cap. Mm. So this is the first one we are getting. Yeah. Then second for that first we need b bar into c bar. Mm. Then these are the direction ratios of b bar and in the third row direction ratios of c bar. Then we are solving that and we are getting 0 i cap minus 5 j cap minus 5k cap mm. then we have to find a bar into in bracket b bar into c bar so mm. a bar is 5i minus j plus 2k and just we have computed b bar into c bar cross product mm. then this we can't directly solve again here we have to use the matrix determinant form so we are mm. writing like this and then we are solving this. So here we are getting value is 15i plus 15j minus 15k. Mm. So this 15 we can take outside. So we are getting 15 into i plus j minus k. Mm. And when we compare the first answer and the second answer, so that is not same. Mm. So here we can show that these values are not same, not equal. Mm. Understood? Yeah. Then fifth example. Here they have given the triangles vertices 1, 2, 0, 1, 0, 2 and 0, 3, 1. And from mm. that we have to find the area of the triangle. Mm. So we can assume first one is A vertex B and third is C. Then we can find uh, the AB bar and AC bar. Yeah. 
लाइक अवर यूजल वे बी बार माइनस ए बार एंड ए सी बार इज सी बार माइनस ए बार सो ए बी बार वी आर गेटिंग माइनस टू जे प्लस टू के एंड ए सी बार वी आर गेटिंग माइनस आय प्लस जे प्लस के एंड वी नो दैट द एरिया फॉर्म्यूला ऑफ दैट ट्राइंगल वन हाफ इंटू बेस बार इंटू ए सी बार सो हेर फर्स्ट वी हेव टू फाइंड ए बी बार इंटू ए सी बार लाइक क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इट सो क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट वी बोथ नो ए बी बार एंड ए सी बार बोथ वैल्यूज वी नो ऑलरेडी सो जस्ट पुटिंग द डायरेक्शन रेशियोज इन द डिटर्मिनेंट एंड वी आर गेटिंग द क्रॉस प्रोडक्ट ऑफ ए बी बार इंटू ए सी बार दैट इज माइनस फोर आ कैप माइनस टू जे कैप माइनस टू के कैप एंड दिस वी हैव टू वी हैव टू फाइंड द मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इट या सो मैग्नीट्यूड ऑफ इट विल बी फोर स्क्वेर प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वेर प्लस माइनस टू स्क्वेर या माइनस फोर स्क्वेर प्लस टू रूट सिक्स या सो ऑल इन अंडर रूट सो अंडर रूट ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ऑलरेडी वी आर डिवाइडिंग बाई टू देन ट्वेंटी फोर वी कैन राइट लाइक दिस सिक्स इंटू फोर सो फोर इज द स्क्वेर ऑफ टू सो टू कैन वी कैन टेक आउट साइड सो इट विल बी टू अंडर रूट सिक्स अपॉन टू सो टू टू गेट कैंसल एंड वी आर गेटिंग द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल इज अंडर रूट सिक्स स्क्वेर यूनिट्स then sixth question so now we are moving from triangle to the parallelogram we have to find the area of the parallelogram four sides of the uh, vertex of the parallelogram they have given k l m n yeah hmm and from that we can find the two sides k l and k n like l minus k and n minus k hmm and k l bar we are getting j cap plus 3k cap and kn bar is 2i cap plus 5j cap hmm so here in we are writing both the vectors in the determinant to find the cross product hmm and here we are getting the cross product is minus 5i cap plus 6j cap minus 2k cap hmm and here we have to find the magnitude of it so minus minus 15, 15 square, square plus 6 square plus minus 2 square yeah so 225 plus 36 plus, plus 4. 4 yeah so that is 265 which is in under root so that is not the whole square so we are keeping in the square root only so you need hmm. square units they next they have given diagrams and they have asked to find magnitude of u bar into v bar yeah hmm. so here to find the magnitude we have to use the vector product formula that is the magnitude of u bar into v bar is their individual magnitude multiply the sin theta so individual magnitude already they have given the diagram hmm. magnitude of u bar is 4 magnitude of v bar is 5 so 4 hmm. into 5 into sin of 45 sin of 45 is 1 by root 2 so 20 1 by root 2 that will be 20 under root 2 getting yeah then second one in the second magnitude of u bar they have given 12 and magnitude of v bar they have given 16 and angle is 120 so here <coughs> we are getting the magnitude of u bar into v bar is equal to 12 into 16 into sin of 120 yeah yeah <coughs>
So sine of 120, we can write like this. 180 minus 120. So this is same as sine 60. Hmm. So multiplication of 12 and 16 is 192 and sine 60 is under root 3 by 2. So 192 we are dividing by 2. So it will be 96 under root 3. Hmm. So these are the magnitudes we got of the cross product. Next question. So they have asked the proof. So what they have asked to prove that a bar minus b bar having the cross product with a bar plus b bar will be twice of a bar cross product b bar. Yeah. Hmm. So this is the distributive property. So first we are taking the LHS. Hmm. And we are multiplying a bar to the second bracket again b bar to the second bracket and we are getting a bar into a bar plus b a, a bar into b bar minus b bar into a bar and last minus b bar into b bar mm. and we know that a bar into a bar will be zero and b bar into b bar will be zero mm. so that values we are substituting and remain is a bar into b bar minus b bar into a bar so again mm. minus b bar into a bar we can write like this plus a bar into b bar we mm. are exchanging the positions and sign will be also changed from minus okay. so it will become plus and here we can see so just remain is a bar into b bar plus a bar into b bar so that is nothing but twice a bar into b bar mm. and that's it they have asked this is our right side, right hand side. Hmm. Next question, ninth one. What they have given? So the three points with position vectors three j cap minus three i cap minus two j cap plus 4k cap, i cap plus j cap plus k cap and minus i cap plus 4j cap minus 2k cap respectively are collinear. Yeah. So what we are doing to find the collinear, uh, we are first finding the AB bar and then we are finding the AC bar and we are finding the cross product of that. So if cross product is zero, that means they are collinear. Hmm. So first vector a bar, b bar and c bar they have given. So from that we can find a b bar is nothing but b bar minus a bar and a c bar is nothing but c bar minus a bar. Hmm. So a b bar we are getting minus 2 i cap plus 3 j cap minus 3 k cap and a c bar that is minus 4 i cap plus 6 j cap minus 6 k cap. Hmm. And to find the cross product we are using the determinant form yeah hmm. yeah and here we are getting the vector as cross product 0i minus 0j plus 0k that means yeah. 0 vector 0 yeah. bar so here cross yeah. product we are getting as a 0 then we can conclude that a B bar and A C bar are collinear. There is common point between them is A and B and C are the end points. So mm. we can see A, B and C which all are collinear points. Okay. The next question, 10th one. What they have given? Uh... Find a unit vector perpendicular to PQ and PR where P220 and Q035 and R503 also find sign of angle between PQ and PR. Yeah. So first we are finding what is the PQ bar. So PQ bar is nothing but Q bar Q minus, minus P. P. Yeah. So here we are getting PQ bar is minus 2 I cap plus J cap plus 5 K cap. Hmm. Then 
we want p r bar also so p r bar is nothing but r bar minus p bar so it will be 5 i minus 2 j uh, 3 i minus 2 j plus 3 k hmm. and to find the angle we want magnitude of them also so here we are finding the magnitude of p q bar that is 2 square plus 1 square plus 5 square that is 4 plus 1 plus 25 yeah hmm. yeah so it is under root 13 so that is not perfect square so we are keeping in the square root only then pr hmm. bar so here pr bar that is 3 square plus minus 2 square plus 3 square so that is 9 plus 4 plus 9 that is under root 22 and now uh, to find the sine angle we know the formula that is the pq bar into pr bar its magnitude upon pq bar into pr bar are you getting yeah so this formula we have to use so whatever the remaining values we have to find so first we have to find uh, the numerator cross product of them pq mm -hmm. bar into q PR bar. So here we are writing both the matrix in the determinant form and we are solving that. So we are getting the cross product as 13 I cap plus 21 J cap plus K cap. Hmm. And we just don't want the cross product. We want the magnitude of it. Hmm. So magnitude of it is 13 square is 169 plus 21 square is 441 plus one square is one so addition is six double one so that is not perfect square so we are keeping in the under root only hmm. now we have to find the n cap because in the vector product we are having the n cap so n cap hmm. is nothing but the cross product divided by the magnitude of the cross product hmm. so cross product of pq bar and the pr bar we are already got in the last uh, step that is 13 i cap plus 21 j cap plus k cap and its magnitude is divided by under root of six double one hmm. so this n cap we got now we are using the angles formula hmm. so angles formula is uh the magnitude of the magnitude of uh... Yeah, magnitude of um, PQ bar into PR bar of you know, magnitude of 1 upon n cap basically. Hmm? Magnitude of 1 upon uh, n cap because in n cap it's PQ bar. Oh no, no, no. I'm wrong. Yeah. It's completely. Uh, n cap is for the vector. No, no, no. I, I got confused. Mm -hmm. N cap already uh, we have computed. Now just mm -hmm. we have to find the angle between them so angle yeah. is theta between the pq bar and pr bar so mm -hmm. here n cap is not required sin theta because we are assuming it as a n cap as a unit vector so its value is one so we are not yeah. multiplying with n cap mm -hmm. so its formula is just magnitude of pq bar into their cross product magnitude pq mm -hmm. bar into pr bar's magnitude upon their individual magnitude mm -hmm. PQ's magnitude into PR's magnitude. And then we are substituting the value. Cross product we already got. Magnitude of cross product is under root of 6 double 1. And individual magnitude that is under root 13 into under root 25. And mm. here we can cancel anything. Because we are not, uh, not able to take anything outside the square root. So we are keeping as it is. Mm. If you want, you can just uh, multiply the denominator. You can take single uh, square root for that. And you can write 30 into 22, whatever the values of that. Hmm. This is also okay. You will get full marks. Hmm. Next, question number 11. So here they have given the magnitudes of A bar b bar and a bar cross b bars and they have asked to find the 
a cross product uh, now they have asked the dot product that is the scalar product mm -hmm. so vector product first we have to find and from that again we can find that mm -hmm. so we know the formula that is a bar into b bar will be individual magnitudes into sine of theta so here we are substituting mm -hmm. the values already they have given magnitude of cross product is 25 individual is 5 into 13 into sine theta yeah mm -hmm. yeah so this value we got then we are taking other terms to the right side here we are getting sin theta as 5 upon 13 are you getting this yeah we are can dividing by 5 5 ones are 5 and 5 5 is are 25 mm -hmm. so sin theta is 5 upon 13 and from the trigonometric identities we can find the cos angle between them we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 mm -hmm. so here cos formula we are getting under root of 1 minus sin square theta mm -hmm. and here we are substituting the sine value 5 upon 13 square is 25 upon 169 and doing the cross multiplication rationalization we are getting the cos theta as plus minus 12 by 13 okay and in the scalar product dot product uh, we need the cos angle and in mm. the vector product we want sine angle so sign from sign already we have computed the cost so cost value also we got then we are substituting as it is magnitude of a bar is 5 magnitude of b bar is 13 and cos theta is plus or minus 12 upon 13 mm. then this 13 denominators and numerator 13 we can cancel they went 12 5 is a 60 so here we are getting the value of the dot product that is scalar product is plus or minus 60. Mm. So if it is plus 60, then a range of angle is between 0 to pi by 2. Mm. And if uh, the dot product is minus 16, then range of that angle is from pi by 2 to pi. Mm. And we got the scalar product. Any doubt here? No, sir. Then next, 12th question. Uh, they have given the direction ratios of the two lines. Hmm. And they have asked that we have to show these lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay? Hmm. So first line equation they have given 2a minus b plus 2c is equal to 0. So this we can write like this. Mm. b we are taking to the other side. So we are getting b is equal to 2a plus 3c. Yeah. And we can substitute that value of b in the second question. Wherever there is b we can substitute as a twice a plus 2c yeah so here a into b we have substituted the b's value b into c here we have substituted the b's value as 2a plus 2c mm. then we are multiply outside terms to the in the inside the bracket so here we are getting 2a square plus 2ac plus 2ac plus 2c square plus ac is equal to 0. Yeah? Hmm. And there are multiple ac terms. We can add that. So here we are getting 2 plus 1 plus 2 that is 5ac. Hmm. And this we can see that this is the quadratic equation. So when we solve this quadratic equation we are getting 2a plus c and in another bracket a plus 2c are you getting this 
Ya. So here, first case, we are assuming that first part is zero. Two a plus c will be zero. Then we are getting two a is equal to minus c. Hmm. And these values we are substituting in the question to get the values of the other. So yeah. here, uh, we are getting that a value of b is equal to c. That means the direction ratios will be one half, one and one. So there is one half. So we don't want that minus one half. So we are multiplying all the values by two. So we are getting minus one, two and two. These are the direction ratios. Hmm. Then second case, that second round bracket will be zero. That is A plus two C will be zero. That yeah. means A is equal to minus 2c and this value we are substituting in the equation 1 we are getting bc is equal to minus 2c and then this equation we can write and we are getting direction ratios is 2 minus 2 1 and both the direction ratios having the minus sign so what we are doing multiplying all the direction ratios by minus 1 so here we are getting the direction ratios are 2, 2, minus 1. Mm. And both the direction ratios we got P bars and Q bars. Then we can multiply that vectors to get the what is the nature of that. These lines are perpendicular or parallel. So here mm. finding its dot product and dot product we are getting as a 0. Yeah. That means these lines are perpendicular to each other. Mm. So that's it for maths. So we'll take a break and we'll continue physics. Okay.